Gotham has a new line in crooks. The Man Bats are out in force, ready to terrorize the city and raid the banks. Even Batman may not be able to defeat them. Batman, the Man Bats attack. The computer screen was as black as the Gotham City night beyond the laboratory walls. Was it ever going to come up with an answer? The man staring at the screen brushed back his long hair wearily. He had been up all night, hoping to make progress. Now as he tried again, the lights of the computer commands were reflected on his thick spectacles. This is taking forever, Dr. Derricks, said the hulking crime boss standing by him. We're getting tired of waiting. Patience. Robberies like this take a great deal of time, replied Dr. Derricks. The crime boss turned to his gang. Robberies? What does he know about robberies? Since when do we need a computer to commit a robbery? We never used one before. Maybe that's why we always end up in jail, said one of his henchmen. The crime boss glared at him, then turned to Dr. Derricks. Hey, Doc, I hear you're not a real scientist anymore because you were doing some little experiments on humans. Dr. Derricks pointed to his graduation picture from the university and his diploma. He had been an eager, proud student, but over the years, greed and ambition had changed his outlook on the world. I am far more of a scientist than the cowards who took away my scientific standing, but they'll see, said Dr. Derricks. They'll see... Suddenly, a series of advanced chemical formulas danced across the screen. He had done it. He had broken into another scientist's computer. He had found what he was looking for. He had broken into the computer notes of the geneticist, Dr. Kirk Langstrom, and stolen his closely guarded serum formula. This formula had given Langstrom his own troubles with the law. Langstrom was the original man-bat, A person injected with Langstrom's serum changed into a fearsome bat-like creature, complete with horrible fangs, fleshy wings, sharp talons, and a mysterious inner radar. Now the formula was in Dr. Derricks' hands. Immediately, he set to work to manufacture the serum with his own chemicals. When it was ready, the scientist injected it into the criminals. Amazingly, Every member of the gang began to change right in front of the doctor's eyes. First, hair grew, covering each body like thick, matted fur. Then the criminals' ears grew wildly, and their noses became snouts. Their grins revealed tremendous, dripping fangs, and their flapping wings created a huge wing. Shrieking and squealing, they were soon aloft, soaring into the night. Against the full moon, Batman saw the silhouettes of the new man-bats. He had expected this to be a quiet patrol as he guided the Batmobile through the streets of Gotham City. But the shrieks of the man-bats cut through the air, making a terrifying sound. Batman trailed them to their destination, Gotham National Bank. The bat creatures swooped down on the bank. The largest one, the crime boss, covered his face with one of his wings and smashed through the glass. A high-pitched alarm bell began to ring as the window shattered. The other man-bats entered behind him. A steel vault door stood in front of them. With astonishing strength, their talons clawed through the thick steel. Squealing with victory and delight, they grabbed sacks of money and headed out. Then the shadow of Batman fell across them and they glared suspiciously. They knew he was not one of them. Using his bat rope, Batman tried to lasso them as they began to soar off. Their great wings snapped the tough bat rope as if it were cotton thread. Batman only enraged the bat creatures. They surrounded him and threatened him with low growls. Instantly, they lunged at him. Batman kept them at bay with his martial arts skills, but their strength was greater than any foe he had ever faced. Ferociously, they attempted to pull him apart. Each bat creature grabbed a limb and soared in a different direction.
But before the last creature could grab his one free hand, Batman took a jar of powerful acid from his utility belt and threw it at one of their money bags. The bag seared open and bills began flying everywhere. The man bats didn't want to lose what they had come for. They let Batman go and flew off, chasing the money. Batman staggered out of the bank, then trailed the shrieking creatures across Gotham in his Batmobile. He saw the man bats enter the secret laboratory and scaled the walls of the building to spy on them. What he saw through the skylight astounded him. Dr. Derricks was making an army of man bats. Dozens of criminals were being turned into monsters. Batman saw the criminals change and grow from men into vicious, snarling bats. An army of these creatures would be invincible. No man, no city, could ever stand against them. Dr. Derek spotted Batman's shadow on the wall near him and threw back his head to see Batman spying down on him. After him, he cried. He can't defeat all of you. Rising into the air, the bat creature smashed through the skylight and chased the caped crusader off the building. Batman still had one idea, and he went back to his high-tech Batmobile. Turning the dials very carefully on the radar tracking system, he changed the frequency. With a synthesizer device in the car, he imitated the squealing and shrieking of the bats. Batman's own radar scrambled the man-bat army's radar. Hopelessly confused, they kept flying into one another. Worse yet, the man-bats flew back into the laboratory, spilling the doctor's dangerous chemicals and destroying his computer. Without warning, some of the chemicals spilled onto an electric generator and burst into flames. The man-bats were overcome by the heat and the smoke and sank to the floor unconscious. Tying a rope around them, Batman used a miniature hoist from his utility belt to drag them all back up to the skylight, a kicking and screaming Dr. Derricks included. This was no easy feat. The men were heavy, and Batman hadn't much strength left. Once they were all on the roof, Batman reached into his utility belt one last time and produced a fire extinguisher bomb. He tossed it into the center of the fire and it smothered the flames with a heavy white foam. I have the Langstrom Man-Bat formula in my own crime computer in the Batcave, thought the caped crusader. Once these men are safely behind bars, I can bring them back to normal with the antidote. And with that, he climbed into the Batmobile and sped off for police headquarters.